The Gold Shell Mini Doge Dogecoin Miners, man, those things are getting pretty popular, right? Have you been trying to buy some? You've noticed that, you, dude, you can't even get them from Gold Shell. They're always sold out, always sold out. So a lot of people are getting into Dogecoin mining, which is really cool for the community, right? Mining, I think, is a great way to start making some passive income. And I think the Doge Miners, I think those are a really good introduction into mining uh, cryptocurrencies. But the problem is this, with all these people getting into mining, Dude, there's some problems showing up. And the biggest problem we see is that a lot of people's doge miners are burning out. Folks are, you know, reporting smoking from the doge miner. They've got these connectors are being burnt. So it seems to be, you know, a real issue with some of these things. Now, this is a little bit concerning, right? Because number one, I don't want to buy this machine and then have it just burn out and not be useful. And number two, I don't want to have to explain to my wife why my house burnt down because I bought some some crypto mining thing straight out of China. And for those of you married, you know what I'm saying, man. So I have taken some safety precautions, right? So one thing that I've done is I don't have my miners on the floor. So I've got them up, you know, up on actually on a filing cabinet. So they are suspended up away from the floor, away from the lint and all that stuff to try to keep them clear because they've got fans running, right? And I don't want these things to clog up. Now, another thing I've done is I've kind of moved it out uh, again, away from the wall a little bit, right? So I can actually get some air circulating through through, and the room is a reasonable temperature, right? So, you know, I've has, I do have some safety precaution. But since these things are not made of the highest quality, you know, electronics, we don't exactly see, you know, Intel inside, and we don't see, you know, NVIDIA stamped anywhere on these things. There's still a little bit of a concern. I mean, this technology is probably not a lot farther than the 1980s arcade games that I keep in my garage. But that's a st another story for another day. So in my interest of not losing my Dogecoin miners or my marriage, what I decided to do was run a test on my machines. I wanted to kind of get an idea about how hot they're running. Now, I tell you, before we show you the test, let me just show you what it is I'm running. So I've got two Dogecoin miners and I've got them uh, plugged, both of them are plugged into one power supply. Now my power supply is a 500 watt power supply, which might be a little light to run two of them because they're supposedly they've got about 230, 240 watts each. So that's, you know, coming up on the limit of my power supply. But I thought I'd see how it ran. And, you know, the other thing is that power supply has a really big fan on it. So, you know, that convinces me that it's probably pretty okay. Now I can tell you, I do have another power supply. I've got this one. So I could hook them both up. I could hook each one of them up to a different one. Um, I don't really, this is 750 watt power supply, but I can tell you, I really don't want to hook two miners up to this power supply. And the reason is, you know, you, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but Dude, look at how big this fan is. This is a tiny fan, right? You can see the, you know, how little this fan is. This thing's 750 watts compared to the one I've got running, 500 watts, it's got that big fan. So, you know, I don't know. To me, I think if it's running okay and the fan seems to be going all right, you know, I think I'm gonna stick with that one for a while. But again, let me know in the comments if I'm doing something that's just not a good idea. So again, I'm not interested in losing my Dogecoin miners or my house. So what I did is I ran a test. I wanted to see how hot these things are running. So here was my test. So what I did is I ran each one of my miners on um, each of the three different power plans, right? Each of the different modes for a day and I took some measurements. Now, if you're not familiar with Dogecoin miners or if you're kind of new to your Dogecoin miner, within the settings, you'll see there is a selector for power plans. Now within there, there are three different power plans. There's the hash rate mode, there's the low power mode and there's the balance mode. Now hash rate mode is the one that usually comes with the default and that's the one pretty much everyone's running. Probably especially the ones that are cooking them up. And the hash rate mode is the one that maximizes your doge return, right? So that's the one that's just doing the all out mining, you know, spare no expense, let's go mining. On the other extreme is the low power mode, which is gonna take the least amount of power. Um, but the trade off there is you're not gonna get the same uh, mining, you know, you're not gonna get the same results as you do with the hash rate mode. So you're gonna mine fewer Dogecoin, fewer Dogecoins, but the power is gonna be lower, right? Now there's also a balance mode, which, you know, is supposed to be somewhere between. Now I can tell you, I'm a little suspect for most electronics buying straight out of China. So what I did is I decided to test it. So here was my test. So I ran, I've got two miners. Remember, I've got two miners. So I ran each, I ran both of the miners. I ran them on each one of those three modes for a day. 
And what I did is I took readings on the temperature of the, you know, of the miner. I also checked the fan speed because I want to know that, man, if this thing is real, running really hot and this fan is just, you run a Mach 5, you know, could be a problem. And then I also checked the hash rate, which is, you know, the doing the mining and all. So we're going to go over my results. <laughs> so here was my finding. And again, so I got two miners and what I did is I checked them twice a day. So basically I've got four data points for each one. Now, if you want to get more thorough, you know, you could probably do more data points, probably get a little bit better data, but this was just my I first cut at it just to see what was going on. So I thought I'd fill you in on what's going on. So first let's start with the hash rate mode. So again, hash rate mode is just all out mining, man, <laughs> right? So here's what I got. So on the temperature, I got 77.3 degrees Celsius. Now that's for you Germans, <laughs> right? For you Americans, that is 171 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty warm, right? It's pretty warm. Now the fan speed, it was running at 1785 RPM. So, you know, it was running, man. I mean, it was constantly rolling. So 1785 RPMs, and I can tell you my hash rate. So these things are supposed to have a hash rate about 180, 185. Now in this study, I got 179.5. So I think that's pretty fair. And again, if you check this different times a day, you know, that, that number could move a little bit since I had these things running for a day. So on the other extreme, I tried the low power mode, right? And so my low power mode, the temperature was actually quite a bit lower. My temperature was 69.5 degrees Celsius, or again, to you uneducated Americans, <laughs> that is 157 degrees Fahrenheit. So still warm, but cooler than the, you know, than the all out, you know, hash rate mode. Now the fan speed also dropped. So the fan speed was 1230 RPM. So it was actually, you know, significantly lower. Now, one thing I was kind of surprised at was my hash rate. I thought my hash rate was going to come in a little bit lower. So my hash rate came in at 156.75. So that's about 13% lower than what I got on my, you know, hash rate mode. So I thought, it, so I'm a little bit suspect of that. I think that might be a little bit high, but that's where, that where it's where it came in on my study. Now going to the balance mode again, you know, I ran three modes, right? So on balance mode day, uh, it was a little bit different. I was actually kind of surprised at this. I expected to see a little bit different results. So what I got off my temperature is, is basically the same as hash rate mode. So it was still pr running pretty warm. So mine was running at 77.3 degrees Celsius, um, which means about 171 Fahrenheit. But the difference is my fan speed was a lot lower than the hash rate mode. So my fan speed was rolling at 1275 um, RPM. So I don't know if the Dogecoin miner, if it's meant to kind of get up to a particular temperature, which about 77 degrees, then turn the fan on or something. I, I don't know. That could be part of it maybe. So that might be, um, you know, it might be, just be holding it up at about that that. Um, temperature. So to keep it at that temperature, maybe you need to run the fan lower than if it's the hash rate mode. I don't know. I mean, put it in the comments. What do you think? What do you think about that? And then the hash rate mode I got was 164. So I think that's probably about right. So I'm going to tell you what it is that I'm doing with my Doge Miner. Um, but before I tell you that, let me ask you just a couple things. One is if you are running a Doge Miner, there is a poll on Reddit right now and they are asking folks to, to you know, give them data points. And they want to, what they want to know is, are you having problems with your Dogecoin Miner burning up, right, or not? And are you using a factory power supply or what are you using it for power supply? So I'll put a link to that poll. Um, so it's open for, you know, for us to make this video another couple days or so. So I would say, uh, dude, if you can contribute to that poll, I think that would be really good for the community. I mean, I contributed. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Another thing is, if you like to see these Dogecoin videos like this, give me a like, because I'm not sure if people like really want to see this. So if you like to see the Dogecoin videos, uh, give me a like and I'll keep making some more and doing some more testings. But let's get to what, my, what I'm doing. Dude, you know, after seeing people's things burn up, <laughs> all that, I'm running mine at low power mode. So for me, I think I'm getting a pretty good drop in temperature, right? So I'm getting down to you know, uh, what, 70 degrees Celsius from 77. So, you know, 171 Fahrenheit to 157. So I think that's actually a pretty significant drop. So I'm going to be running mine on low power mode. But the question is this, how profitable am I going to be now that I'm running at low power mode? I can tell you, I just happened to have a video talking about that. So I put up another video where I did a study. I looked to see how profitable my machines were on hash rate mode, on low power mode and balance mode. So dude, if you haven't checked that video out, I think it's actually pretty good. So check that one out. I'll tell you what, I'll put another video up here and I will see you in one of those videos.